Successful Minds with Patricia Barnowski Schneider, the show that takes you around the world to share interviews with some of the most successful and relevant people on the planet. Hear their stories and get the most important business lessons they have learned on their road to success and get exclusive advice on how to implement their success into your life and business. Successful Minds with Patricia Barnowski Schneider is brought to you by the Strategic Advisor Board and your host, Patricia Barnowski Schneider. Hello and welcome back to Successful Minds. I'm your host, Patty Baranowski Schneider, CEO of Pristine Advisors. Today I'm joined by Joshua Shui, co founder and CEO of Mo- Movio. Our topic today focuses on how we think the AIGC, AI generated content technology, is going to disrupt content creation in the future. But before we jump in, a little bit about Joshua. Joshua graduated from Carnegie Mellon University in 2014 and joined Snapchat since then. He founded Movio in 2020 of December. Their mission is to use AI to reinvent the video creation experience. They believe visual storytelling equals creativity plus making. Movio aims to make the making cost zero, liberating everyone's creativity. So thanks for joining us today, Joshua. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. Likewise. So now why don't you give us a little quick rundown of what people can learn from Movio. Sure, sure. Yeah. So Mobile is basically um, a video generation platform, which allows people to um, generate video instead of uh, making camera to do the recording and filming. So we start from the avatar generation first. Basically, you would be able to create a sports person video by just typing text or just upload all this you want. And then it will allow us to create a sports person video to cover like 40 plus different languages. And also we will present very high accuracy for the emotion control and uh, movement. Yeah, so pretty much that's how it works today. Wow. So what are the main features of Movio, like the video generating platform? Yeah, so I guess, uh, like, like I mentioned before, the one of the biggest features that we have is that, you know, you can generate after sports person videos. Like, in, like traditionally, we need to have hire an actor or go to a camera recording to take to make that video. Now you don't have to do that anymore. So you will be able to uh, create a sports person video very easily from mobile. And meanwhile, you will also be able to generate your own avatar in minutes. I think Patricia has done that before. Basically, you could all you could do is that you just record two minutes of your sports um, speaking style video, and then we will make an avatar of you. Then you can use your, your own avatar for any business presentation. Yeah, so there's a lot more stuff coming. Basically, we will be covering covering more on the copywriting generation, video script generation, image and video background asset generation in the future. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is so real. Like I, I've done it for myself and other people, and they don't believe that it's not me because I like how you could do your own voice or you could do an automated voice. So I was doing yeah. my own voice, but people didn't believe it was me. My grandkids didn't believe it was me. So I actually did avatars <laughs> of them, and they're looking yeah. at it like, like they couldn't believe like that's them talking. I'm like, that was your voice, but that's not you. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, you guys like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of fun with it. <laughs> so now, how do you ensure the accuracy of the avatars that you create? Yeah, that's a good question. So first of all, uh, we apply um, a lot of data into the AI model training. So basically, um, behind the technology is a deep learning model. We build a large scale image model on the back. And, and secondly, what, once we have the model, we also do a lot of fine tuning on different, um, I would say different set of different language and different assets, um, on the avatar. So basically we want to make sure we cover not on, only English, but also a lot of the small dialect language in the role. That's the second part. And, and the third part is that we actually build a continuous feedback system. So once we deploy the model into production, um, we are actually collecting more training data for, for AI and the model is actually self improving itself. So basically you will be able to see that the model actually is getting better and better. Um, like once you use more and more, put more usage on, on the platform. Wow. Amazing. Now, what challenges have you encountered while building a video generation platform? Yeah. I mean, I, I would say, first of all, um, because like building a video generation platform, it actually sounds pretty new, right? And, you know, I think uh, it would be a huge cost. I mean, for us to actually educate the users, this could be a new way to make videos. As before, people 
are more get used to oh the traditional way of creating videos like hiring an actor or hiring a marketing agency to do the video thing and probably a lot of people never think about they can actually generate a video i think the first of the first challenge would be more on the education side how do we actually deliver the value of the generation technology to all the customers right. and yeah I, I think that's the second I think I would say the second biggest challenge would be that given all the AI capacity we have today, there's a lot of like going on and, and also it's growing very fast. And obviously every single technology comes with limitations and or constraints, right? How can we design a product in a way that is create true value for our customers? I think that's also very critical and challenging as well. There's a lot of demos we can see from the social media that I think the demo looks cool but not that useful. Um, I think we we are coming from the technology background, um, uh, but we need to actually really understand the, how the customer create video, understanding their pain point, and we, we need to talk to them. Uh, um, or even become a video marketing expert myself, being able to actually you know uh, understand the real use case and plug in the technology we have and build a product around that. I think that's also another thing uh, uh, we, we feel that's super challenging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I, a lot of times too, it's, you don't know that you, you, you know, it's kind of like when I saw some of the variations that you could do with this, I was like, wow, I wouldn't have even thought about that, how you could do like educating, you know, new, new staff at your job. And like, you know, a lot of companies will have this introductory video, you can have that done, or it, it, there's just so much more, but, you know, really, like you said, getting the pain points of all the different people, asking them questions, you know, maybe even doing what we call a perception study, where you just yeah. reach out to everybody and say, what, if you could have anything in the world, uh, what would it be? And how can we make that happen? So it's definitely getting the, the word from the actual customers. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So now what's been the most rewarding part of developing Movio? Um, I would say definitely um, seeing the customer are getting true value and real values from the platform. I would say, yeah, that's probably the most rewarding part because, you know, uh, I, I think one of the um, behavior we are seeing from our customers that there is a, a, the core cohort of our customers, but they actually increase their usage um, more than 50% 50, 50 month over month. That's probably the most rewarding part that uh, we, we are building right. alongside with the mobile. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I, you're the only one that I actually found that uses your, you know, there's lots of avatars out there where you can use these computer generated people. Um, but one that actually looks like you is just amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> so now what new developments in the field of video generation are you most excited about? Right, so I think pretty soon, you know, I think everybody will be able to just type in the prompt and get the video generated. Right. So it will involve a lot of like uh, multi-model content generation, uh, right now, you will be able to see that, for example, the text generation with ChatGPT, right? right? That's amazing. And also, we see the image generation with uh, stable diffusion and mid-journey. And soon, it will get evolved into video. And we will be able to actually generate a video asset with a very high accurate controllable ability right. by probably typing text. Right. I think once we have that technology breakthrough, it will unlock another scale of level of creativity. Just like the mobile camera 10 years ago, it right. unlocks like tens of millions of people they can create content. And so that, yeah, it, it's just like another scale of a content uh, breakthrough, in my opinion. Nice. Yeah, I mean, the whole world of technology, it, it everything evolves, but this is evolving super, super fast. So it's yeah. good that you're actually yeah. in that space. Nice. Now, how does your avatar building sister differ from other similar technologies? Yeah, so I, I think first of all is the accuracy. Um, we are at um, 89 accuracy, um, whereas other, com other competitors or other similar software is probably they are somewhere around 90%. Yeah, so I think this is super important for us because what we are building is for the business use case. Mm -hmm. um, we need to be as good as like filming with the real actor. Um, so. I think accuracy is probably the uh, one that um, the most important and critical uh, part of our features. And, and I think the second part is more like the cost and barrier. So um, we can do simple, as simple as like uploading one single image and get the avatar. 
and we can also you know um like 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 you did before basically record two minutes talking style video mm -hmm. and and we will soon release a webcam um a solution that allow wow. people just do it from the browser um, right. and basically speaking to the webcam for one or two minutes mm -hmm. i think the cost will be bring down a lot more compared to other um, competitors um last i would say the diversity of the avatar itself uh, we would be able to generate and change the outfit of the avatar with mm -hmm. ai we are probably one of the only company that can do that um in the industry and we can also like customize the face of the avatar, like for example, uh, tuning the age, making mm -hmm. it look younger or look more older, and right. and yeah, and more on the diversity side of the avatar. Wow, even the voices though. I know somebody. I did an avatar for them too, and they're based in London. And I did, I did the, I did it as a gift. So I did the automated voice for that, and they couldn't believe that it sounded just like him. So like everyone mm -hmm. that we try, and he's in technology, but he's like everyone that we try just doesn't sound right. He's like, but this one sounds just like me. So I see. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Now, what advice do you have for people who want to create their own avatars? Oh, yeah. So first of all, just go to mobile.la slash custom avatar. We will have a detailed page explaining, you know, how you can get your own avatar. But like I said, um, so, so for, first of all, get a good camera. Um, we, we don't have a specific requirement for the camera. It could be a phone camera or the web camera is fine as well. But just like uh, fix it in a place that you can, you can get a tripod to make it uh, fix on a, some certain angle or position. Mm -hmm. And second, I think we need to make sure we, you have a good lighting because I think that's important for you to actually present the avatar at the end. And yeah, last I would say just follow the instruction. We have a very detailed instruction online. Just follow that to recall uh, two minutes of video. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I was paranoid when I did mine. I had the green screen. I didn't know what, and you were like, you don't need all that. I was like, oh, good, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it yeah. was pretty, yeah. pretty easy, straightforward, and then I couldn't believe the folly when I got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now, what do you think are the most important qualities for an effective avatar? Mm, I, I think the number one factor is the lip syncing accuracy, because mm -hmm. uh, I think that's probably the 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 place that people pay most attention to, uh, especially when you want, would like to use an AI avatar to represent the content or explain the content you would like him to speak, right? So I think secondly, it's more on the emotion, you know, um, is it natural enough to match what you speak and match your, the content he's talking about? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for example, um, um, if he's speaking very about like very calm, uh, it's the emotion um like match that that uh, syntax of the content yeah the last i would say is more on the technical side it's a it's the lightning um and the texture of the avatar itself because we actually use ai to generate the image and the video um it's super challenging but also very important that we make sure the lighting and the texture we generate is on high quality so that people wouldn't be able to tell oh this is artifact uh, right. generated from technology or ai right yeah, good. Now, how has the demand for avatars changed over the past few years? Yeah, I, I think one of the biggest uh, feeling I had is that, you know, um, everybody go just go virtual, go online since the pandemic. Right. Um, it it auto automatically uh, generate more demand uh, for online content. That's first. And secondly, is that, you know, um, I would say a real human avatar with high quality um like in terms of the video or image was not that was not possible before let's say two to three years ago right. um so once the technology actually reached its mutual stage it actually creates a lot of demand you know uh, making it possible for people to create an avatar for themselves so basically it unlocks a lot of you know business use case mm -hmm. i would say you know every business should have its own avatar Right. I think that's the first scale which is, is happening right now. And I think the next scale would be that every person should have his own avatar, which will maybe we will create billions of avatar, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, around the world. Yeah. 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 You never know. I mean, even with like the one I did for one client, I just did an avatar of them and it just said, um, you know, I just wanted people to know it was an avatar. It just said, hi, I'm out dealing with other business right now, but just wanted to show you who I am. And here's where you can find information about me, you know, the website, things. So it's like a, 
quick 60 second marketing thing, uh, which wasn't yeah. really him. And if you're doing a newsletter and things like that, you can have a, just an introduction of here's our newsletter. You know, it, you could just be creative with it. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Now, what do you think the future of video generation looks like? Yeah, like I said, so I think um, people would be able to um, type in a prompt and get a video out of it. So uh, I think that would be probably the most disruptive and um, uh, innovative way to um, make this thing different. So just look, um, today we actually spend only 20% of the time on ideas, but we spend 80% of the time on making videos, so probably more than that. You know, because making videos is actually quite expensive, not only economic wise, but also time wise. I think in the future, we will be able to spend 80% of the time on the ideas itself and only 20% in maybe making it. Um, and then that will unlock massive creativity. You know, it creates more video in the so with a better quality, which will improve the general, you know, communication efficiency of the whole economy, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, it is time consuming, like, <clears throat> nowadays, everything is supposed to be with like Instagram and whatnot, doing shorts, YouTube shorts, and being creative with them. You know, it's, it's another full time job just trying to create these things. So yeah, if there was something that you just, you know, speak a prompt or type a prompt, and it does it for you. <laughs> that just yeah. right up everybody's alley. So now tell yeah. me what else do you do? Um, you know, I'm also a hacker, I would say. You know, yeah, mm -hmm. other than like um, working at Movio and building a lot of the cool stuff, I also uh, very interesting, like uh, combining different AI technology, just like building small apps and demos. Um, yeah, just for, for fun, actually, <laughs> but not for the business. Nice. And then meanwhile, I think I also spent a lot of time recently building up a, um, a video marketing community. Uh, we actually start from our internal users at Movio mm -hmm. and friends. But we are looking to expand that to more, you know, video marketers to just teach them and how they can use AI for marketing, but not only with the video side, but also for copywriting, workflow, automation and stuff like that. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. In this day and age, I mean, that's going to be even more beneficial. Yeah. So now what's one big takeaway you want listeners to get from this episode? The one big takeaway, let me see. Hmm. I think being... Being aware of the video generation actually coming, I think this will be a whole new way of, you know, um, making videos in the future. Um, I would say um, this area has been uh, growing very fast in the past like six months or, mm -hmm. or one year. And um, things will change uh, quickly for video ge uh, generation and creation. So, yeah, I think probably just like uh, stay tuned about that. Um, I've been... Um, paying attention to how you can use AI to actually improve the workflow and make it more uh, efficient from day-to-day -day, uh, work, yeah. Oh, perfect, well said. Now tell me, how can people get a hold of you in case they're looking? I'll include it in the end, but you can just tell people how to get a hold of you. Sure, sure, yeah. Probably Twitter or LinkedIn is the best way to reach me. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, and then if, if you have any questions, you can also email me at josh at mobile.la. Great. Well, thanks again for being on the show. Again, that was Joshua Shui of Movio.la. Thanks for listening to Successful Minds with Patty B. Never miss an episode by subscribing to the show here. So thanks again, everyone. Thanks. Thank you for listening to Successful Minds with your host, Patricia Barnowski-Schneider. Please leave your feedback and visit strategicadvisorboard.com to get the latest and greatest business advisement on the planet. Follow us on social media for updates, and we'll see you on the next episode.